Hi, my name is Molly O'Boyle, and this is a presentation on how to use diagnostic ultrasound to view the Achilles tendon. Today, we will discuss the anatomy surrounding the Achilles tendon, patient and clinician positioning for performing diagnostic ultrasound, imaging, and the clinical significance of this process. The Achilles tendon serves as an attachment between the triceps serrae complex and the calcaneus. Since the function of the gastrocnemius and soleus muscles is to plantar flex the foot, the Achilles tendon aids in this movement. The retrocalcaneal bursa sits between the Achilles tendon and the calcaneus, while the subcutaneous calcaneal bursa sits between the tendon and the skin. Both of these bursa work to reduce friction around the tendon. The Achilles tendon is mainly innervated by the sural nerve, but also has some minor contributions from branches of the tibial nerve. The patient should be lying prone with their foot relaxed off the end of a treatment table. The examiner should stand at the patient's feet and orient themselves so they can see the patient and the ultrasound screen simultaneously, as shown here. The transducer notch should be directed towards the patient's head to display a long axis or longitudinal scan of the tendon. This frozen ultrasound image shows the Achilles tendon outlined in green. The hyperacolic line on the right side of the picture is the calcaneus where the tendon inserts. It is best for the clinician to find the hyperacolic line of the calcaneus and move the transducer notch proximally from that point. The fibrillar band just superior to the calcaneus is the Achilles tendon. This video follows the tendon proximally to the triceps serrae complex. Clinicians must be aware of anisotropy when looking at nerves and tendons using diagnostic ultrasound. Anisotropy is the property of being directionally dependent. If the probe is not kept at a 90 degree angle to the structure being evaluated, the echogenicity of the image can be altered, leading to incorrect diagnoses. Clinically, diagnostic ultrasound can be used to rule in and rule out injuries to the Achilles tendon. Such injuries could include full tendon rupture or partial tears, as well as tendonitis. Thanks for watching.